Hey everyone, welcome back to Unicorn Dust Designs. Today is a very special episode because we are going to be starting our thrift hauls slash upcycles and I will be introducing my website to all of you today. So I just wanna say thank you to Upcycled by Brie. You guys have heard me talk about her many times. She is the one that really inspired me to start my booth also start this website and uh if you guys haven't noticed thrifting is something i'm really passionate about so i'm really happy to be sharing these items with you because surprise well, i guess it's not surprisingly but uh in kansas i love finding this old stuff this old country farmhouse like I don't know, just I love it and I love finding things that like, if I don't think I'll ever see it again, I'm gonna snatch it and I'm gonna throw it in my car, okay? But out here, I think because people live in the country, live on farms, they're getting rid of this stuff and they don't wanna buy it. So in my booth, these kind of things aren't selling, but they're the things that I love purchasing the most. So I'm hoping being able to share it with you guys um, on the website will um, allow you guys to be able to share in the love of all of this stuff too. So how I'm gonna, oh goodness, how we're gonna work these videos on Thursdays, I'm going to try and do thrift store hauls. I'll show you some up cycles I do with them and then whatever I show in that video will be on my website. Um, I will also be, sorry, this is like a long spill. I promise we'll be starting soon. I will be launching the sale of this shirt. Now, this for a lot of you guys said that you were interested in this shirt, which is the thrift store find in, roadside collect in, garage sale, um, break in, what does it say? Dusty junk loving girl. I posted this and so many of you were interested. I am not a shirt maker. I don't make shirts. I have just recently started getting into heat transfer vinyl. So what I'm gonna do with these shirts for those of you that are interested is, I am going to be doing this as a pre-order. So what that means is, I will be putting them for sale on my website. I will close the sale as of next Tuesday evening, and then I will order all of my shirts and then make them. So it will be like a one to two week process before you get your shirt. And the reason I'm doing it this way is because like I said, I've never done shirts before and I don't want to invest all this money in shirts that don't sell. So hopefully if you my people, if you're interested, then you can wait the one to two weeks um, and do pre-order. I will be offering this in five different colors of shirts. These are Bella canvas and they will be the Heather t-shirts and you'll get your choice of white or black text. Okay. So you guys website is launching right after this video. Okay. And I will put the link for the website down in my description box for you. So let's go ahead and get started. This is going to be a huge haul. You guys, this is the haul that I hauled with Brie like what was it like three weeks ago or so? that's how bad okay and i just need to get all of this listed and like either on the website or in the booth so usually i would probably break this down into two but i i need to get this out of the way because guess what i went thrifting yesterday and there's more stuff in the back of my car okay so let's go ahead and get started i will let you know like if this is something i'm keeping putting in my booth or if it will probably be on the website so the first thing I'm going to reach for is this. I found this at Savers for $2.99. I actually got it for this. It does have a hanger in the back. I am planning on painting it. I think this is more like a springy color. So I will be painting this, possibly waxing it. Not sure yet but I do love this. So this will be on the website and it will be painted on the website. The florals won't come with it. I need to, I guess, wash them. Some of these are actually real, like these, I don't, I don't know what these are called, but I really like these. These are really nice in them too. Ooh, there's a spider on it. Oh, 
okay, this is why we need to clean stuff. And this is also why you don't let set stuff sit in the garage forever. Okay, so we'll leave that guy alone. Maybe he's a jumping spider and I don't want him jumping on my face, but either way, I will be taking all of these out. I will be washing the florals. And if you guys, let me know if you're interested in florals because I can make that a different like collection and sell them separately. Don't worry, it didn't, sorry you guys, like I keep feeling like my nose is ready. Okay, next thing is this cute rooster, I guess, rooster, hen, no, it's a rooster, right? I don't know what it is, but I love it. I love chubby birds. Chubby birds are my thing. I love them so much. I love the color of this with the ivory, the burnt orange. I found him for $2.99 at um, Savers and it has some kind of stamp on the booty on the bottom. This will be on my website. This, so stuff like this, I love buying. I think it's cute. I have a lot of muted colors in my home. So things like this, I personally love, but they don't sell in my booth. Like I have something kind of similar to this and it's been sitting in my booth since I started. So hopefully one of you guys will like it. So that'll be in the booth as well, <laughs> the website. Um, also got the, now I don't know, I'm gonna see if it fits in one of my wood round boxes. If it does and I'm able to ship it, I will. There is a little bit of damage, but I feel like I could add paint to it. And it would, do you see how gorgeous this is? You got, I don't know if you could see like that slight, the clear sparkle and it's on all of the greenery the berries and these beautiful apples, which are like, sorry, Hank's barking, in perfect condition. Now there's some, which there's only a little, right, right here. Do you see how some of the berries look like they kind of chipped off? But I think I can just maybe get like a darker red color and fill those in because I definitely don't want to rip them out so this was $4.99 at the Salvation Army and I just thought it was gorgeous at first I was like mm, I have like something hanging right up there I was like this would be so beautiful it's so different like I feel like because of the apples this could be Christmas this could be like fall harvest vibes so many different things a teacher this would be a cute teacher's gift so again if this fits in a pizza box not a pizza box, my other boxes. Um, I will go ahead and list this on my website. And if not, then it will be going in my booth. Okay, that thing is big too. I really like that. I don't need it. I don't need to keep half of this stuff, you guys. All right, you guys get comfy. I hope you guys are comfy because like I said, I hope that spider doesn't like crawl over to me. That would be really bad. Let's see, what's in this guy? I got these, you guys. Let me know if you want me to add these to the website. I'm not sure. They were 99 cents each. And they're just, I don't know, what would you call these? Trays, candle holders. Um, I feel like these could be super cute. Yeah, like for a candle, you could put some greenery around it. You could even put, because there are three of these, if you put like the candle and the greenery around it and put three in the middle of your table as like a tablescape, that could be really cute. And of course, galvanized metal, you can't beat it. So I got those for 99 cents each. Let me know yay or nay and I will add those. If not, I might just keep them and use them around the house. These I'm keeping for myself. They were $2.49 and they're just wood cutouts but i thought i could use these as bases for candle risers i could use them to make pumpkins i could use them to put mod podge on so many different things i love if you guys do have a savers looking in the bag section because you can find a lot of good finds in there and then this came out of that like flower bundle and the body of it's broken off but of course I thought, well, if I could take this apart, I could use the wings on something else. It reminds me of the clip in Titanic, you know? Ooh, la 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 la. So of course I'm keeping that because I'm like, I'll just take it apart. Maybe I can make it like fairy wings during Christmas or something. 
Okay, I found this basket and I'm thinking about keeping it up. I'll probably keep it for myself. And I went thrifting yesterday and found another one that was the same price, but it was so much more sturdy and like thick. And I wish I would have waited because <laughs> now I'm like, oh, I'd rather have had that one. But it's one of the step baskets. Now, this definitely is not my vibe in my house. So I am thinking about painting it. I have seen like tons of people paint these baskets. So I don't know what color I would paint it necessarily, but we do have stairs like right here. And I thought this would be perfect to throw the kids toys in and then they could go ahead and just like carry it upstairs, bring it back down when they're done. Hank, get out of my stuff. You have a little something right there. Are you trying to get through? I don't think you want to see dog butt. So, all right, next box. Next box we got. So these are going to also be on the website. I am going to, I think I'm going to paint them. So these were originally $3.99 for the set of three. I'm going to go ahead and open them up. See, uh, I don't know if I want to paint these. Maybe I will list them as is so that somebody else can DIY them uh, to their color preference. Yeah, because see, I like the colors of this. It's almost like a, yeah, I'm going to keep them. Oh, well, that bird's odd. So here they are. And see, they have like the copper. They even have like some green in there obviously you could see the chip even green in the face they're like a i want to say a resin and they're handmade there's like a like an initial right there an initial right there and then here's the small one again has like that copper green look so these are definitely a pair and then there's this little guy which does look exactly like them, but it's like somebody, maybe they were just hand painted because this has like a sticker paint. No, this one's different. Cause look, see that one has the hole in the bottom. These do not. Seriously, bro. So look at this little guy. That one's so, so stinking cute, but it's weird because it does look exactly like these birds, except its head is pointed the other way. And this one is more of, you know, a yellow. So I don't know if I should put these together. I guess I'll just sell them all three together. But I really like the color. At first I thought I was going to paint these, but I didn't take them out of the bag yet. So those will be on the website and I'll put all three of those together for you guys. Um, We have, I have gotten in the habit of, <laughs> Anytime I see a rolling pin, I just pick it up. I just throw it in the car, throw it in the car. And this one is really nice. Look at the end right there. This one's in really nice condition. So for me, I don't know. I'm sure there will be some that I post that are painted and then some I'm going to put online just as is. Cause I feel like I want you guys that can't find these things to be able to DIY them yourselves and you know, um, make them match your vibe. So I will have this one listed on the website as well. I got this one originally $1.99 and I believe this one is, yeah, Salvation Army. Hank has to smell it for you guys. Make sure it's safe. Was there any food used? Okay, don't worry. I'll wipe off that slobber for you guys, okay? Hey, nobody wants to see your butt, okay? And I do have a, another you have seriously slobber oh boy y'all want hank right i have this one as well now this is just i did not paint this at all this is just natural wear it's a beautiful blue and then you guys i have to do my research on rolling pins because this is like stationary like the it does not move so i know it is vintage and again in 
pretty good condition. And this one, I think I got for $1.99 too. I found this one, well, I found all of this with Brie. So that will be on the website. All of the rolling pins will be listed separately since they are different and they might be different prices. Also found, do I need to clean that up just a little bit? This adorable recipe box. This was $2.99 at Savers. I just thought this was super like country, almost kind of gave even the cottage core vibe because of the berry porcelain on the front. So you can see that it is which i thought was funny so i'm sure somebody found this at some point and then put it on themselves because it's like tied inside of there and it's in great condition none of the weaves are broken i just thought this was really good cute this is cracked this looks like that happened at some point making it but I thought this was so cute. Somebody that has recipe cards and things like that would absolutely adore this. Okay. Always apply in my videos. So that one was $2.99. That will be on my website as well. Now, y'all know I love books. I got books like all behind me everywhere. This one I found, and this will be listed on the website. It's called Hymns of the Heart. Now, this is it shows was a book for public worship and it's so cool because it says that like cloth binding 18 dollars per hundred express not prepaid single copy 25 cents and this is copyright 1914. so these are they could be pricey on um, eBay. I did look it up, but I do have this listed and it is a lot cheaper than eBay right now because somebody, y'all loved this book. Somebody cut the pages out. It looks like somebody like even cuts like certain like parts of hymns out for who knows what, like journaling. I don't know, but it's still these are the things I love about vintage books. Like, yes, some pages are missing, but it tells a story. Like, why did this person cut these pages out? Like, why did they cut this specific, he brought me out, like, like part of it, you know? Like, it just, it tells a story. And for somebody who loves something like this, it's just a special book to have. It's so old, 1914, imagine how many, hands this has passed through i just think things like that are magical and so this will be up and i believe this one i got at salvation army so hardback covers are 99 cents this one i keep on saying i found with brie all of this i found with brie okay if these don't sell within like the first couple days i'm taking them off and i'm going to keep them for myself uh they're salvaged pieces that i found and I'm not cleaning them, you guys. I'm not cleaning them. I'm not doing anything to them. Like, these are gorgeous. Like, I don't need to clean them. I want them dirty. I want them rustic. I want them looking like they just came off of something. Tell me, you guys, down in the comments where you think this came from. So there's three of them here, and I will... <gasps> Is that the spider? I will be selling them... Um, got it, you guys. Sorry. Um, I will be selling them like together, all three of them. So they're exactly the same thing. One, two, and three. And then the backs are just plain. Now I was, oh, all this does. Going to give the option of putting a sawtooth hanger on it. But to be honest, you guys, this wood is so old that I don't know if I start pressing in or hammering in a sawtooth if this would crack. So I am not gonna take the chance on that um, because if it were mine, like if I did keep it, keep it and wanna put it on a wall, I would probably hot glue a sawtooth hanger on the back just to not chance cracking the wood. Um, so, I mean, if you do buy it and you want me to hot glue it, I will, but I'm not gonna take the chance of uh, nailing sawtooth hangers. In here. So those are going to be available on the website, these salvaged pieces. And I got those for 99 cents each. All right. 
what are we at? This feels like one of my Dollar Tree hauls, you guys. Okay, um, okay. This basket, I'm probably gonna post on the website because our kitchen is so small and I don't know where to put it, but my first thought was for me. And you guys, this is, what is this? A lobster catcher, a fish catcher, you guys will know. I need to do more research before I do these videos, obviously. Um, but I was just excited. I need to show you guys these before I did research. I had envisioned this. Okay. The blue is beautiful, especially too. Like if you guys have a cabin or a lake house or something, but I totally envisioned using this for other things like fruits or cause the bottom opens up and then it opens up in here. And then this, you can reach your hand in. So tons of options and just, it would be beautiful just for decor too. Imagine putting some, stringing some lights up in there and stuff. I mean, I don't know why I gravitated toward this, but I just thought it was very unique. And I was like, when am I gonna see this again? So this was originally $3.99. I don't know, I can't use it. I don't have any space in my kitchen and that's where I was thinking about putting it. So I will have this available on my website i don't know if i could get a picture of this it might be like this in the picture you guys so uh that's what it'll look like possibly on the website okay you guys tell me because some people are into this look some people aren't my initial thought with this piece was it was a nice piece of wood so i'll sand it down and then use it to make a sign but the more i started looking at it the more i was like oh this is kind of cottage core and somebody might love this and the colors are so beautiful. The color of the duck, this is, um, it, I don't know. Yeah, it looks like it's hand painted. Yeah, cause those flowers, you could fill the flowers. And I just love even the addition of the florals going down here, the color of the duck. This I would imagine was brass and then the florals in the background. So I will try listing this on the website, see, what happens and then if it doesn't sell i can always you know use it for the wood but this was originally 1.99 so i went back to my thrift stores yesterday y'all and you guys know i boast about my like my salvation army prices well not anymore they went up in prices like by a lot so it's like now they're the same price as Salvation Armies, or sorry, as savers. So I'm, um, yeah. Garage sales are where it's at. All right, I grabbed these two pieces. They were 99 cents each. And my thought for these were like risers or even trays, just putting three little legs down here. And then so cute on like a, um, I was gonna say a stove top, but you would have to change the legs so that they weren't wood, probably. I don't know. This would even be cute on a stove top as, you know, like where you place your spoons and stuff like that. That would be cute. It would also be cute to put um, vinyl on here and hang them from walls. If these are something that you guys want me to add to the website, let me know because if not, then I'll probably keep them and, and turn them into something. These were 99 cents each at Salvation Army. And I love them. They bring me back to my childhood. My uh, best friend, Joanna, her dad had like that collection because he always went camping and did stuff. Okay. This one was $3.99. One, it was wood, so I was in love. It had detail and it was old. Look at that. Even the glass. So the pictures come out. Look at that. I wish I was that fancy. And then the scrolls right here, these are engraved in. So even if you didn't like the wood look, the like painting over this and then like waxing it down would be so beautiful too. I can, I could totally imagine this in cottage core, shabby chic, farmhouse. I mean, so many possibilities. I'm not sure yet if I want to post this on the website. I feel like I should post everything on the website and then if it doesn't sell within a week, then it is like validation that I can keep it because I don't, I don't know. And then like, look at the back, like this thing is definitely 
old, which I love. I love it. So that was $3.99. And to be honest, you guys, I don't remember what color was 50% off that day. So he grabbed these two mirrors, or not mirrors, these are frames. And again, don't know if I would paint them or I would just leave them. I think they're so beautiful. They were 99 cents each. The back makes me feel like these are newer. They're definitely not, no, these definitely are not vintage. So here are those. And since like this is not real wood, you can see right here, it's definitely a newer frame. But what's weird is the glass doesn't look newer. So maybe it's, it's not new, like, you know, this year. Cause the glass is like that, like cloudy glass. I don't know what I'm talking about. Maybe you guys could tell me, but I got it in that size. And then in five, is this five by seven? Yeah, five by seven and an eight by 10. They were 99 cents each. And how gorgeous would that be? Like that just sitting, cause they both do have these stands. So pretty, I love these. See, I'm all about wood and old. There's a lot of things that like, I'm like, I don't wanna paint that. That looks gorgeous. Like, I love wood accents. All right, grabbed this actually for myself. Uh, it is a friends and family play. And if uh, some of you aren't aware, I'm gonna read the little spiel real quick. This play shall have no owner for its journey never ends. It travels in the circle of our family and our friends. It carries love from home to home for everyone to share. The food that's placed upon it is filled with love and care. So please enjoy what's on this plate, then fill it up again and pass along the love it holds to family and your friends. So we don't have family out here in Kansas, but we do have two of our friends, Jessica and Erin, and we do a lot of the holiday stuff together. Even if it's not on like the exact day, we do like try and meet up and celebrate those things together. So I just thought that this was so what they would consider ugly that I was like, this is, I need to buy this because then they're stuck with it until like we meet up again. So that's why I bought it. I thought it was fun. It was $3.99. All of this stuff is kind of like embossed and sticking out and it's seriously in perfect condition. And it's from, oh, please hand wash. This isn't old, it's from 2003. But I just thought that it was fun because I was like, ha ha, they're going to be stuck with that. Uh, let's see. I got some older, just like utensils, like this whisk, whisk for 99 cents. I got this strainer. I'm going to say this was 99 cents. The tag fell off of it, but I love the old the older kitchen things. I don't know if these will be on the website or not. I guess they could be. I don't know. I'll see about these. And I also found these and I plan on painting these. They aren't old. It says creative by creative co-op. They were, I feel like green was on clearance because I don't think I would pay $2 each for these. But this is what they are. They are two different sizes. They do have wall mounts on the back of them and they have a lot of detail. So I'm really excited to paint these and then white wax them. I think they are going to be absolutely gorgeous. Even if we did a gray so that like it looks more like silverware and then white wax over that, these are gonna be stunning. So we will go ahead and upcycle these and then I will put them on the website. I grabbed this. I think I'm going to save this one for my booth, y'all, because I do need more height than there. My eyelashes are sticking together. You guys, we still have so much more, and this is 30 minutes. Mmm, I need to get through this. So here's this. This was only $2.99 at Salvation Army. But y'all, like I said, they're raising their prices because when I went yesterday, stuff like this was like $9.99 now. So, mmm. I will be definitely being a lot more picky, but it looks like it's made out of wood. Of course, it's rustic and white. So I will be keeping this. It says it was originally $39.99, still has the original tags on it, and then has like that nice smooth bottom. 
So $2.99, keeping that for the booth, I think. Then if it doesn't sell in the booth, then I'll post it for y'all. All right. I always, 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 if I see bookends or something that resembles bookends, I'm going to buy them. Now, I am going to try seeing, because the only way, you guys, that makes sense to ship bookends is if we do priority flat rate shipping, because these things are monsters and they are so heavy that it would cost so much money for regular shipping. Um, I found this set for $5.99. I believe you guys have seen me do my previous book. I have them right there. Ugh, they turned out beautiful. So we will DIY. We're going to upcycle these as well. Now, you guys, I'm not going to be able to upcycle any of this in this video because it's going to be so long, but maybe I could film it and then put it later. I don't know. Um, but here they are. So it was $5.99 for the set. And y'all know this is going to look so gorge, all waxed up, maybe some apothecary on here. And then the sides, look at that. Oh, these are going to be gorgeous. And $5.99 for the set, y'all. And these are heavy, so heavy. I always score at Savers for these bookends. I even picked up more in my most recent haul. These are so heavy. So I grabbed those can't wait to upcycle them they look so beautiful with painted and white wax i need to get through this okay these we found now these aren't going to be on the website you guys because they are so heavy and they won't fit in a flat rate box i mean if one of y'all want to pay a bunch of money to have them shipped just let me know so these are these were five dollars at a thrift store called blessings abound uh, they are way too pricey for me. Um, this, this is seriously all I walked out with. There's two of them. These are so heavy. So there's two of these. Now, I love these the color they are. Like I said, my house is kind of muted in the living room. And then I build off the muted colors and put pops of white and stuff. So this is serious. I need two hands. So you can see, it's like a, a rustic brown. Um, let me know down in the comments if you think that I would sell these faster if I painted them or if I should just leave them like this. So these were five bucks each. And you guys, these are like cast iron. Like these are so heavy. I don't know if this is, it's, it says Hen Heather's Accents for the Home and Garden, Pennsylvania. So, Two of these, again, yeah, that is their sticker because it's on both of them. So stinking heavy. And let me know, just like comment candlesticks, yes, paint or something. Because I personally love them exactly like that. I don't want to do anything to them. And I've been trying to look for a lot of candlesticks to elevate things in my booth because I feel like everything is just so one di dimensional. So let me know. Got this and I'm thinking about keeping it. I'm not sure. It was $2.99 at Savers and I just love it. I, I don't, it's, it, this is a clay. This is like a clay pot or something. It looks like there was another sticker, but if you see on the inside, it definitely is not cast iron, which is what it looks like. But I love how little it is. It doesn't have any Eh, it has like a tiny little chip right there, but I love the look with just a little bit of sprigs of like florals or something in there would be so beautiful in a kitchen, on a coffee table, on a side table. I love it. And then how the handles turned. So I'm going to think about this one. I might keep it for my own decor or you might see it on there. Okay. We're winding down. I promise. These I'm keeping, obviously. I think these were two, maybe a dollar ninety-nine. I don't know if you guys could see the sparkle. Can we see the sparkle on here? Not sure, but these are super sparkly. Dang, I wish. I guess I'll find out later if you guys can see it when I'm filming. But these are so sparkly, and it's just baby's breath. But I thought these would be so pretty for Christmas to hang like on, you know. Um, what do you call those? Like cutting boards and things like that, or just to stick. Like I said, if you get a couple bundles of these, 
like stick them in here. How pretty is that color? I mean, not that high. <laughs> okay, so I grabbed those. I really like them. Now, these are, look at this. Okay, this, you guys, okay, it was purple because this was half off. So purple stickers were half off, which I don't think I got many purple stickers. So this was originally $14.99. So I got it for $7.50. And this, do you see how big this is? Oh my word, I love it. I love, love, love it. This is another thing. Now, I probably would have kept it brown. I think I'm gonna paint it though, because there is, It's this is more like a, a resin or something. It's definitely not, I don't think, real wood. Like it looks like real wood, but it's just way too light to be real wood. And you can see that it's starting to kind of, but see, I like that. Like it looks old and like it's worn and I don't know. See, this is another one that I'm like, do I paint it or do I not paint it? And for me, this is, so it has the hooks. This is, has a newer tag. So it can be hung like this, but I always envision them like upside down as decor, like on shelving and stuff, but that's just me. Look at how beautiful that wood is. And this is really light. It is not wood. This is another one of those that I'm like, I don't know if I wanna sell it or I wanna try to use it somewhere around the home because it is so gorgeous and the wood tones in it, the fake wood tones are very pretty. Oh my gosh, this is forever, you guys. I'm so sorry. Uh, this was $2.99, it was 50% off, so it was only $1.50 and of course, Brie taught us there. Brie has a video of just washing the flowers with Dawn dish soap and water and then letting air dry. Um, I don't know if I want to keep the roses are pretty. Anyways, I will most likely be painting this and then putting it up on the website. Uh, no, I might put it on in the booth. Anyways, you guys will see I'm a mess. Okay. This one, Crosses do sell well in my booth, but if you guys want me to put this online, I am planning on painting this and then um, waxing it up. This was originally $3. As you can see, it has a spot for a candle and it is metal. So we're gonna paint this and then I will put it on the website. I should probably like separate what I'm actually painting and putting on the website. All right, picked up this guy. He was $1.99, like I said. Hey, these are exactly like these, those other birds, aren't they? Look, this will be on the website sold just as is. Look at, it is. I am not gonna paint this one. I think it looks gorgeous in its beautiful white color. So we're not gonna do anything with this gorgeous little bird. Yep. Yes. That's the bottom. Somebody put a tag on its booty. All right, we're winding down, you guys, I promise. Okay, Salvation Army, the manager was there. This didn't have any tag on it, you guys. It is a very nice bread box. He gave it to me for $2, $2. So I've only done one bread box. It's still sitting in my booth, just like a bunch of my stuff. Um, so, It'll be interesting getting that done, especially because it has the scroll top. So we'll see. We'll see what happens with that one. And then I picked up a bunch of this, these canisters here. And I will be putting these on the website. These are gonna look great in somebody's kitchen for Christmas. Um, also too, if you just have, um, like this is your color, but this, they come in, a large, a medium, and then I have a small right here. They do have some wear, so you can see like, there's like a little off of there, some scratches on the bottom. Somebody obviously loved these. And I got these for $1.99 each, and I will be selling them for the, uh, the three of them together. I don't think any of them, they just all have like the natural kind of, scratch and it is the enamel wear, I believe that's called. Yeah. 
So those were $1.99 each. I found those at Salvation Army when they were like not crazy expensive. Got this mirror, which I don't know if I'm keeping or putting in my booth. It was, I think he gave it to me for a dollar because it didn't have a um, sticker, but I don't want to, sorry, blind you guys. But this frame, it's actually not plastic. It is metal and I love the color as is. It's like this ivory tan, I don't know. It looks like it has some highlighter on it. And then it also has like the black peeking through. So if you guys can see. So that's beautiful as is. So you can hang it on the wall, but I see it as like something to put on top of a vanity with like some perfumes, your makeup, you know, things like that are on like a bathroom sink. I don't know, that's how I see it. It doesn't even actually have like a hanger on the back. So maybe that's what it was for. So I got that. Hopefully y'all are still here. We got this beautiful, this of course is gonna be painted and waxed. The inside is impeccable condition. This is something newer, obviously. But just the detail of this, it's gorgeous. I mean, the color of it is pretty, but I feel like if we paint it with a pop of color, it'll just like bring it up to date, I guess you can say. So that's pretty, I don't remember what I paid for this because the tag's not on it anymore. And I got a bunch of Reader's Digest. Almost an hour, you guys. This is like the longest haul ever. Got this baby for $3.99. I think it's so awesome, so different. And it looks like it was made by somebody, 1984. And I was thinking just putting maybe some succulents in there. I will clean this off, of course. And then this will be going on the website. I also found this guy, which is $3.99, definitely needs to be cleaned up. There's some chips. It looks like there were little, you know, blocks on this one. I wonder if somehow I could fix that or change it. But I loved the copper top to it. I think I'm going to keep this for our house. I love the copper top and the white. And I like that it's three stories. So this was $3.99 at Savers. Then I grabbed this, which like the florals, I'm like afraid to like grab stuff now. So I'm like, nah. So this was in this beautiful container. Look at these feet. The handles are absolutely gorgeous. It was $3.99 and the flowers in here, if I could clean them, I mean, I'm not going to be able to keep this baby's breath in here oh that's is this what people use when they look at that when they do florals kind of crazy i actually like the florals and i think they look super cottage core so if i can wash them and just rebuild this then i will sell it as is oh look at i guess i mean i don't have to wash i've never seen these before these little pick things so that's really cool. I could just take these out. Hopefully I could clean them up and just rebuild it. We'll take out this. I, I don't, these are just loops of ribbon. Huh. So this was $3.99. I thought it was gorgeous. I thought it was so fall cottage core. Sorry, I keep moving it around. So grab that baby. And then the last thing you guys, is just, I mean, I'm not going to show you all of them, but I got a bunch of the Reader's Digest books so that I can um, add hype to my booth and start kind of displaying things, you know, differently. And I just grabbed books that I liked the colors. Like, look at how fall that looks. But this side, like these covers were gorgeous. And of course, I'll put a price tag on them if people want to buy them. I don't need 
but it was just all about the covers for me. And these again at, um, at Salvation Army, the hardbacks are only 99 cents. This I liked because it was just a, a, a neutral, beautiful book. Got that one. And then I have one, two, three, four. I have like five more over on my stand. And then look at how fun this is. Look at that. I love those vibes. And then that's the side. So these were a dollar each. I bought, like I said, a bunch of them because it's gonna be an easy way for me to create height. And then Bree showed me this book and I grabbed it because it was old and also because it was red, white, and blue. It has nothing to do with the content in the actual book, um, but it says democracy and communism theory and action. And this is a school district Florida. Isn't that crazy? I don't want to show, I guess, the last names. Um, but you're used 72, 73, up to 77 is when this was used. Copyright 1967. So things like this, I just love. And if you are somebody that has like a patriotic home or anything, things like these are just good for stackers, fillers, things like that. Um, so yeah, got this. It was a dollar. And you guys, thank you. If you're still here, thank you so much. This was a long haul. I knew it was gonna be a long haul, but I really needed to do this so that I could get this out of the way and we can get into the next thrift haul. Um, usually the videos won't be this long. I will be doing the haul and then I will be doing some upcycles as well. So please bear with me until I get the hang of it. I will be posting these every Thursday. So if you're somebody that likes the thrifting and garage selling, um, uh, junk in all of that stuff and upcycles, then Thursday is gonna be your day that you're gonna love. Uh, Saturdays is my crime and crafting and Tuesdays will just be like fun, regular DIYs, Dollar Tree DIYs, whatever I wanna do Dollar Tree or whatever DIYs I wanna do. So you guys, my website link is going to be live down in the description box right after this video is over and y'all help a girl out buy this stuff buy 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 it because then that means i get to go out shopping for more of it all right you guys have a good one thank you so much for your love and support and uh for always being here for my new ventures i have been trying out a lot of new things on my channel i am just really passionate about a lot of things and i want to share it with you guys so Thank you again for being here. Now I have to clean all of this up, paint some of this, and I hope you guys have a good one. Bye. <gasps> Why? Why? Why do we have to have flies? I don't get it. I'm multitasking. Yes, I'm filming this in my living room with all of my junk from last Thursday's video. Y'all are welcome. Rockstar. Enter. No, all right. You guys, share this with Rockstar, okay? So I could get sponsored by them. Okay, ready? Ready? Blue still real quick. Okay. Oh, look at that highlight of mama. Okay, that ain't Rockstar. Okay, ready? Hold on. I gotta, you know, get the good, the good side, I guess, like maybe a star, you know? Like, okay, you guys, um, rock star. If you're a mom, if you're tired, if you're stressed out, if you're at your wits end, grab a rock star. Take a drink. It brings you back to square one. And then it hypes you up. And then you're ready to play with your kids. And you're ready to organize. And you're ready to clean. And you're ready to start your day all over again. Rockstar Recovery. Every mom needs one. And not just moms, just like anybody. Okay, you guys pass it along to Rockstar. I'm out. Bye.